For the past two weeks, the Jarek Titans Sport and Development Club, not having enough funds for accommodation for their trip to England for the Manchester Easter Cup, caused an uproar on social media with many posing questions and raising concerns. The club's managing director and head coach, Brian Brown, appeared on the Tobago Update's morning show, explaining the situation and addressing concerns raised. Here's more. Brian Brown explained that they were set to stay at the Holiday Inn before their departure to England, highlighting that this was not their first international trip, having gone to Germany in 2019. Yeah. All right, so we had some place to stay. Mm -hmm. the, 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 the plea that was made mm -hmm. was to, for assistance to pay to help cover the cost mm -hmm. of that, mm -hmm. not to find the accommodation. Right. Brown clarified that payments for accommodation were made before traveling and that the arrangements for accommodation were made by Eurosport, the organizers of the Manchester Easter Cup. He said that the trip would have cost approximately £12,000 per person for accommodation, food and transportation. However, upon arrival, they were still short of approximately £80,000 to £100,000. At this point, more than $1.5 million would mm -hmm. have been invested. Mm -hmm. Right? That is from fundraising, mm -hmm. contributions from individuals and stuff like that. So we were very much deep in it, mm -hmm. right? We were fully committed. Teams were, should I say, well prepared. Mm -hmm. Brown admitted that before the trip, they considered postponing or canceling it since they might have been short on funds even after the efforts they made through fundraisers and contributions. Then, you know, we went and we started asking around and stuff like that. And, mm -hmm. all right, so we got assurance that this is, all right, we're going to cover the rest. That is fine. Right. You could go ahead and we could go on your, you could go on your trip. He did not disclose who made this commitment. However, he listed those who helped the club, such as Double B Enterprise, Dominion Appliances, and Patricia's Bakery. Ariana Scipio, Tobago Updates Television News.